Okay, g'day, it's Jeff from Jeff's Tools. Here again, we've been asked a lot of emails about our radiator pressure testers. Are they a good product or a bad product? Uh, what are they like? Alright, I just want to take uh, people over them. Firstly, the case, good, solid, sturdy case that they come in. Just open up and give everyone a look. Okay. Uh, firstly, we're going to start with the fittings. They are anodised aluminium. Um, and they're fairly, uh, you know, decent quality. In fact, they're very good quality. We have a, a few universal radiator cap testers. The outside of them is plastic, but inside they're actually made out of uh, steel. Also, the radiator cap test adapters, there's two of them. So. And more importantly, the stress testing pump. with the relief valve. Okay, this is a 1998 Holden Rodeo. We're just going to show you over a quick um, how a radiator pressure tester works. Not so much how to perform a test, but actually how the tester uh, performs. Alright, getting the correct uh, adapter out of our kit, which we've already done. Placing on the radiator. Okay, they're always firm to go on, as you can see. Should be firm. Okay, grabbing our pump. And I'll just put that up there. I'm just going to pump this up a bit. As you can see, that's holding nice and steady. Okay everyone, I'm just going to show you how to, how to just roughly do a um, radiator cap test using our kit. Okay, so this cap here is off a 2000 uh, model Toyota Corolla. Okay, so you pick up one of our uniformal adapters. Okay, so we'll just do it around the other way. Okay, so this end as you can see, it's too big. Like too big to go in there, so rotating it around turning it into the right way so it fits snug. Okay, picking up our adapter, you sort of need a bit of strength, these are quite stiff as they should be, fitting it in like so, and then taking the pump or the stress pump, plugging in, it's bayonet fitting, uh, sorry, not a bayonet fitting, a press fitting like an air compressor. And pumping up. And we won't go all the way up, but you'll just check your manual um, to see where you're required, uh, what your required PSI or KPA pressure is on your cat. Okay, no worries.